dear students welcome to all of you today we we'll discuss about degrees of freedom advanced mechanics semester 6 mathematics honors university of calcutta what is degrees of freedom the minimum number of independent variables say q1 q2 qn required to fix the position and the configuration of a dynamical system which are compatible with the given constraints is called the number of degrees of freedom of the system note that the degrees of freedom of a system with n particles and k independent constraints is 3n minus k in three dimensional space consider some examples uh, first example for a single particle in a plane two coordinates define its location so it has two degrees of freedom example two a single particle in space requires three coordinates three coordinates so it has three degrees of freedom example three two particles in space have a combined six degrees of freedom because three into two number of two particles Minus zero, there is no constraint, so three into two is six. Example four: If two particles in space are constrained to maintain a constant distance from each other, example a diatomic molecule, then this system has five degrees of freedom. Two particles, so this three n minus k, three into two minus one. constant distance this is the one constraint equation so this is equal to 5 number of degrees 5 degrees of freedom 5 example 5 a single rigid body has at most 6 degrees of freedom 3 transitional 3t and 3 rotational degrees of freedom so this is x axis y axis and z axis so uh, this uh, uh, x axis uh, this one Uh, degrees of freedom motion and from up to uh, along the y axis this second degree, degrees of freedom and this third and rotational about x axis uh, rotational about y axis and the rotational about z axis so there are six degrees of freedom single rigid body at most six degrees of freedom example six a block sliding around on a flat table has three degrees of freedom consisting of two transition and one rotation is block uh, on a flat table so this uh, either this direction or this direction transitional direction and one is rotational direction and this is the x axis say this is the y axis transitional and uh, up to uh, along the z axis this rotational this and this is the flat table so this is two dimensional uh, so there are three degrees of freedom example 7 a rigid body Which is constrained to rotate about a given axis has one degree of freedom. This is because the only way the body can move is to rotate about the axis. This and the other five degrees of freedom, three transitional and two rotational, are lost due to the constraint. So uh, there are only one degree of freedom here, rotate about a given axis, fixed axis. Example eight: the fixed fulcrum of a simple pendulum. This point A is fulcrum with coordinates x zero, y zero, z zero, and this all coordinates are fixed. And this x zero fixed, y zero fixed, and x z zero fixed. So all coordinates are fixed for this point A. And so its number of degrees of freedom is zero. Here three constant relations: so x equals x zero, y equal to y zero, z equal to z zero. So degrees of freedom, number of degrees of freedom equal to three into number of particles. Here, number of particles is uh, for this point fulcrum A. So one, three into one, and number of constant is three. It is x equal to zero, y equal to zero, and z equal to zero. So three minus three equal to zero. 
the bob of a conical pendulum what is conical pendulum that conical pendulum performs a uniform horizontal circular motion along the base of a right circular cone if the distance uh, between the bob that is the bob is particle p and the fixed fulcrum o this point o is l this distance is l then x square plus y square plus z square equal to l square here uh, this point uh, o has taken as origin this so this uh, so the number of degrees of freedom is 3 into number of particles here 1 is p 1 and minus 1 constant and so uh, this uh, minus 1 so equal to 2 example 10 a dumbbell here we assume two point masses this this a and b point masses this x1 y1 z1 with coordinates of the point a and b with coordinates x2 y2 z2 and joined together by a massless rigid rod so this system consists of two particles this n equal to 2 with one constraint x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square equal to l square this l is the uh, distance this uh, put two points a and b and the number of degrees of freedom equal to 3 into 2 the two particles a and b minus 1 this constant is 1 so 5 and this example same as example 4 uh, here example 4 is this and the two particle space is constant to maintain constant distance from each other the diatomic molecule the degrees of freedom is this 5 next example 11 uh, three point masses connected by three rigid massless rods these points a b and c and this l1 l2 and l3 so n equal to 3 and t equal to 3 uh, because this uh, distance l1 square so uh, a coordinates uh, x1 y1 z1 b coordinates x2 y2 z2 c coordinates x3 y3 z3 z3 so this l1 square is the x2 x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square plus z1 minus z2 whole square z2 whole square equal to l square l1 square and similarly others we get three constants so a, a 3 into n minus k that is 3 into 3 minus 3 that is six constants example 12 a rigid body this system this is a system with a large number of particles not lying on the uh, one line that is not collinear and with all its particles at fixed distance from each other always take any three points which are non-collinear then their number of degrees of freedom is six from the example 11 if one of these three point uh, fixes the body is unable to move hence the number of degrees of freedom of a rigid body uh, with n greater than equal to 3 is always 6 which is independent uh, the number of particles in this and so in this I also see the example 5 uh, this single rigid body has at most 6 degrees of freedom this 3 transitional and 3 rotational so you can write in this way also uh, first write the example 11 and then write the example 12. The example 13 a rigid body fixed at one point so this rigid body fixed at one point o then then that there are three rotational motions about uh, this x-axis along y-axis along z-axis so uh, and those three transitional motion is along this x-axis along the y-axis along this z-axis these transitional motions are uh, lost here. hence the number of degrees of freedom here three Alternatively, you can write this consider uh, three non collinear points A, B, C with coordinates x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z2, x3, y3, z3. Let a point A be fixed, and this point can be taken as origin. This point taken as origin, and this hence for this point x1 equal to 0, x y1 equal to 0, z1 equal to 0. So here three constraints, and, and the other constants for the other particles this say r2 and this distance is r1 and this distance is r3 so uh, this distance is r2 uh, 1b is x2 square plus y2 square plus z2 square equal to r2 square and this distance uh, from o, uh, o to c x3 square plus y3 square plus z2 square equal to r3 square and distance r1 is between b and c 
is x2 minus x2 whole square plus y2 minus y2 whole square plus d2 minus d2 whole square equal to our own square. So we had three constants and we, we, we had three constants. So total number of constants is six. So uh, here uh, three particles. So three into n minus k, that is three into three minus six, that is equal to three. So a rigid body fixed at one point, uh, the number of degrees of freedom is three. Next example, determine the number of degrees of freedom in the following cases. A particle moving on a circumference of a circle. So uh, this particle moving on a circumference of the circle. Uh, so uh, this circle on circle A, fixed radius A, then only one coordinate theta vectorial angle in polar coordinate system can be described the position hence the number of degrees of freedom is 1. So, uh, by this uh, angle theta, you can describe uh, any position uh, of this uh, particle uh, along the circle um, on, the, on the perimeter this because this A is fixed here. So, uh, the use of term is 1. Example 2, here the 5 particles moving freely in a, in a plane. So, each 3 particles in a plane needs 2 coordinates because it plane to dimensional motion. So, to specify its position. So, n equal to 5, so 5 into 2 equal to 10. So, uh, the number of degrees of freedom for this case is 10. Example 3, two particles connected by a rigid rod moving freely in plane. So, two particles moving in plane, we need, we need four coordinates, this x1, y1, x2, y2. So, we have four coordinates for two particles. If L be the length of the connecting massless rigid rod, then there is only one constraint is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus 1 whole square equal to l square. So uh, here uh, this degrees of freedom number 2 into n minus k because it's two dimensional motion. So 2 into n, n is the two particles. So 2 into 2 here this uh, constraint is one only one constant. So 2 into 2 minus 1 is equal to 3. So two particles moving in a plane uh, and degrees of freedom connected by massless rigid, rigid rod degrees of freedom is 3. Question uh, 4, a rigid body moving freely in three-dimensional space. Question uh, 4, this uh, degrees of freedom 6, uh, already uh, we have discussed this. And question 5, uh, the rigid body moving in space with one point fixed. This question also uh, discussed earlier, uh, degrees of freedom 3, example 13, previous example. And question uh, 7, the bob of a simple pendulum oscillating in a plane is bob of a simple, simple pendulum uh, oscillating in a plane. Question 6, question 6 is this, a rigid body rotating about a fixed axis in a space. Rotating uh, body fixed axis in the space. Fixed axis in the space, this fixed axis in the space, uh, z axis uh, for particle A, uh, this body rotate, rotates in a fixed plane j equal to A. That is uh, the circular path actually this equation of the circle is x square plus y, y square equal to l square and j is equal to k, some constant along the circular path. So l is the fixed uh, radius in the circular path. So the number of degrees of freedom is this 3 into n minus k, this three dimensional space. So a number of particles is 1. So this uh, 1, 3 into 1 minus 2, uh, these are two constants here. Uh, this. So and, uh, the axis, fixed axis above this fixed axis, the number of degrees of freedom is 2. Uh, you can also uh, write this uh, by example 7, because example 7 is a rigid body with co co constraint, is constrained to rotate about a given axis at a 1 degrees of freedom. Same example this. You can write either this way or uh, in this way. Next example 7, the bob of a simple pendulum oscillating a plane. So uh, this is a bob, a simple pendulum, uh, this taken this point P, this coordinates x, y, and this the uh, oscillating x, y plane, vertical x, y plane, and let L be the length, this fixed uh, of the connecting massless uh, length O, P, and O is the point of suspension, be taken as origin. In x square plus y, y square equal to L square, this constant equation, and so number of degrees of freedom is 2 into 1 minus 1, uh, because the two dimensional motion, so 2 into N number of particles P is 1, and this minus 1 is the one constant equation. So this. Note that this motion can also be described by the only one coordinate theta, this angle uh, with the uh, particle. So you can describe this by only one coordinate theta. So 
uh, if you get the value of theta and you can find the any position of this point here. Question 8. The bob of a conical pendulum already discussed and dumbbell moving in a space and this or uh, we will discuss this uh, example line, previous example line, and previous example 10, degrees of freedom 2 and degrees of freedom 5. And thank you for watching this video.